What's the latest and greatest with the South Bay Galleria? Stay tuned. Hey everybody, Jackie Hu here, your local and international real estate expert. I make videos for buyers and sellers, giving them the tips and tricks to the real estate game. So tune in every Tuesday and Friday for more videos. Today's video is about the redevelopment of the South Bay Galleria. I'm sure most of us that frequent it admit that it could use some updating, some sprucing up, maybe add in a few more stores. Right now, it's anchored by Target, Macy's, Kohl's, and has a giant movie theater. And the city of Redondo Beach back in 2019 agreed that some redevelopment needed to happen to the area. And just recently, we've seen one of the proposed plans. A big part of the plan centers around reusing part of the sprawling parking lot and changing it to 300 residential units, 30% set aside for low-income housing, 150 room boutique hotel with 17,000 square feet of retail. They're also going to have make it a lot more, um, give it more of an outdoor retail experience similar to the Westfield Century City with lots of spaces to hang out and sit and enjoy living in beautiful Southern California. They're also going to feature and add in some open air dining restaurants, which we all love now thanks to the pandemic. Additionally, they're going to convert the old Nordstrom department store into office spaces. This is all great because in the future, this South Bay Galleria could be one of the anchor points for the Metro line that they're putting in, and it could be part of Metro line C line. I'm really looking forward to it. I frequent it often. I love Nordstrom Rack, TJ Maxx, all within a great space. If you guys have any questions or want to know more about the development or things happening in the South Bay, I would love to be a resource. So as always, thank hashtag who's your realtor and the who in blue real estate group.